Hi, in this video we are going to learn about the softwares that we are going to use throughout this course. So, we will require two softwares VirtualBox and the Red Hat Enterprise Linux. If you are looking to install Red Hat Enterprise Linux as a separate operating system in the dual mode, dual boot mode, then you do not need the VirtualBox. But if you are using another operating system, for example, Windows and you want to use Red Hat within that, then we can use the VirtualBox which will act as a virtual environment and within the VirtualBox, we can install Red Hat. So, the link of both of the software I have already mentioned. For VirtualBox, you need to go to virtualbox.org. For Red Hat, you need to go to developers.redhat.com. VirtualBox is a straightforward installation process which we will discuss just a little later. For Red Hat, you need to create an account at developers.redhat.com and then you can download the Red Hat Linux 9. Okay, So, when you download, make sure that you download Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.4 and you download the third version which is the 10.32 GB. So, we will require the full version. So, do download this particular software only. Now, let us see how we are going to install these two software. So, the very first software that was required is the virtual box. So, we will go into the virtual box.org website and here you will see that the various platforms that are compatible. So, if you are using the Windows host, then you need to click on the first link Windows host and the download will start. So, it will take some time depending upon the speed that is coming into your system, so depending upon your internet speed. Alright, so our download is completed. You can click on the exe file. So, you just need to click on yes because you want to install this. I would recommend that you do not change any of the settings. So, simply click on next, next, say yes, yes, install and it will start to install. Okay, So, virtual box is the base software that you will require. If you want to do a completely separate installation totally on Red Hat, then you need not to use VirtualBox, but if you do not want to change your host operating system, for example, if you are working on Windows and you do not want to switch to Red Hat Linux altogether, you can use VirtualBox and then inside VirtualBox, we can install the Red Hat Linux. So, the installation is almost complete, right, click on finish and the VirtualBox is installed. So, this is the outlook for the virtual box, you will not see these two Red Hat machines because I have already installed virtual machine and I have installed Red Hat twice. So, that is why I am getting this on my screen, but you will get this blank, but the overall interface will look something like this. Right, coming back to the second software, which is the important part, which is Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9. So, let us go to the link, which is specified in the presentation also. So, I am directly copy pasting that and I will land up into this page from Red Hat, right. If you do not have an account on developers.redhat.com, then the first thing that you will be required to do is create an account, okay. So, you need to create an account on developers.redhat.com, then log in to that account and then you can go to the products page and therein you can find Red Hat Linux. So, here you can see that uh, Red Hat Linux 8.10 is available, Red Hat Linux 9.4 is available. So, you need to download this 9.4 and here also you need to focus on the third entry which is the 10.32 GB download. Okay, So, you need to click here and your download will start. Alright, so you can see that it is asking me to log into the account. So, since I already have an account here. So, I will log in. In case you do not have the account, you will have to create it first and then log into the account. So, click on more ways to try. You can download the ISO file. 
okay so now we need to click on download and the download will start right so you can see that the download is started so it will take some time you can see the speed is a little slow on my side but it doesn't matter uh, once the download is complete in the next lecture we will see how to install this into your virtual machine